What is up, Omosh Nation? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing so well and are ready to see the returns of our little experiment we did just a little over a month ago now. Today we have back our SGC test sub we did. We sent it off back on August 3rd. Sent off seven cards if I remember right just to test the waters to see how they are, how their processing is, their grading, their fees, everything to see if we should add them to the Omash Middleman service. So I'm super excited to see the grades, the slabs, how the tuxedo looks on the cards that we submitted, and to get your feedback to see if we should add the SGC company grading to the Omash Middleman service. I have a few opinions about it that we can talk about later, but let's check out the slabs, the grades, and just see what we think about the Tuxedo Company. So here it is, I just unboxed the cards from the USPS box that they shipped them in and it comes packaged like this. Bubble wrapped, there's a Digimon card, and it is tuxedo time! <laughs> I actually kind of like that a lot, but while I get these unpackaged completely, Enjoy this little vlog style video of the process of SGC. All right guys, today, August 3rd, we are sending off the cards to SGC, USPS priority. This should get there in two to three business days. And then from there, we are gonna see if they really come back within a month, plus or minus. So let the journey officially begin. All right guys, so today is August 6th and I just received an email from SGC saying that they have received the package and the email was very nice, told me the amount of cards that I sent, very informative, and they're on the ball. A lot faster, or better, I should say, than uh, Beckett where you don't really get any sort of notifications. I like it. Guys, I'm at a dealership right now helping my mom get a new car. <laughs> but today is August 26th and I just got an email from SGC saying that my cards have been shipped back to me. The grading is done. Uh, I can't remember when I sent them off, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't even been a month. So we'll see when they get here. Pretty stoked. All right, guys, today is August 31st, the last day of August, and we have our CGC cards back. First impression, they stuffed everything in a small priority box. It is kind of beat up, so hopefully the cards are all right. <laughs> and this was actually delivered, or attempted delivery, on August 29th, but I was on vacation, and so I had to go and pick it up today. So that is why it is a couple days late. So it took less than a month for the cards to get sent off and completed and back to me. Very impressive for only $30 a card. So now with this in hand, let's get back to the studio and check out the grades. And we are back with the cards unboxed, ready to be revealed. It looks like here, I, without looking at all the uh, grades and stuff, they put a case or a sleeve on the first and back cards to kind of protect them from any scratching, uh, but they do not sleeve every single one. So let's take, let's start with the Digimon ones. If you saw my first part to the video, then you already know which cards I sent off. But here's the back of the SGC case, the Tuxedo Slab. Very nice Digimon card first. I don't know, oh, we already saw this grade, but there it is, guys. Very nice 9.5 Metal Guard. Rurumon Hollow. Now, first reaction is I really like the way this looks. <laughs> the very nice ice blue Metal Garurumon Hollow card surrounded completely in black. And we got the 9.5, which is a mint plus card. Very cool. Now, the label itself is nothing special, but maybe we got a pristine 10 today. That is the only label I think where they make the label gold versus just this tuxedo black. Uh, but plain label, but you know, it does its job. You get your big grade there, easy to read, and it has the details of the card, uh, and it's all black, just like the theme, tuxedo theme. But first card, very nice. The card feels very sturdy, actually. I do like the case. Um, it is a little bit thicker than a PSA slab. As you can see, I have a PSA slab right here. You can see the differences 
Let's see if we can get it focused in on the cases itself. We might not be able to, but you can see it is a little bit thicker and it does feel a little more durable, dense, and I, I like it. And for a little comparison, let's focus in a little better camera. What are you doing here? Uh, it is a little taller than a PSA slab as well. So pretty good to know. And yeah, I think that looks awesome. Dig in the SGC slab already. Our first one is a 9.5 Metal Garurumon. Next up, let's see if I can hide this better. We have the War Greymon, and that looks sick, guys. You cannot argue with that. We have the Tuxedo Black War Grey, or not Black War Greymon, that'd be cool. <laughs> War Greymon Hollow, so cool. That looks insane. Let's see if we can beat a 9.5. Boom! No, but we get the very same 9.5 to go with the Metal Garurumon. That looks very nice. I'm pleased with this and super glad that I sent these in. I might need to send in more of my Digimon cards. And they stack very nice with each other. Um, nice and flush, easy to stack all day long. Stacks on stacks on stacks. So very cool, happy with that card. Next up we have Dragon Ball. And don't know what that is, but that is unfortunate right there. <laughs> Little scratch in the quality control. Every company has them, guys. Every company makes mistakes and it's all good. You just gotta be as understanding as you can be. And we have the Max Power Kamehameha. Once again, looks amazing. I'm digging the tuxedo slabs. And the texture on this baby is just insane. So let's see what we got. DBS grades really well. Boom! 10 gem mint. There is one grade above this. It is the pristine, so it would have been gold labeling. But so nice. Very cool hit right there. And that looks sick. At least the front of the card isn't all scratched up, but the back definitely is. <laughs> but it's all good. Uh, I enjoy this card and I sent this because I have multiple of them. So uh, that's very cool. I'm happy with that and I do like the way that that looks. It is a little dark, so you know a darker card doesn't pop as much with the black background, but yeah, I think it looks real nice. Next, DBS card. DBS just grades really well. This case looks pretty good. Really, we have the SSB Vegeta. <laughs> Normal, rare, reverse foil. I just like this. We have a 10 as well. Very nice gem mint card. And let's go with the Goku to go with it. Let's see what we got. 9.5 on the Goku. Come on. Can't give me the dual 10s on the two pairs. <laughs> the rivals, but the brothers. Very nice cards and very nice looking uh, duo right here. I do enjoy this. Uh, and really, they just look good, guys. You have to let me know in the comments what do you think of the look of the tuxedo. Um, obviously, we sent in a bunch of cards with different TCGs, Pokemon, Digimon, Dragon Ball, to see how things look in the tuxedo slab. And so far, I am very pleased. Our first Pokemon card back is the, oh, Amazing Rare. I wanted to see what the black card looked with the black tuxedo with the crazy Amazing Rare pattern. Um, and it looks pretty sick, honestly. Let's get the grade though, bam! 10 on the gem, uh, <laughs> on the grade. Very nice card, that looks solid. I do enjoy the colors and the overall blackness of the card, or the slab. I think that looks solid, very cool. Happy with that, and the Japanese quality, of course, gets us a 10. Very interesting, I do wish there were subgrades though, because you can see that the border, the centering is off, left to right. And so, everything else must have been good enough to get that 10 but we won't know. And the last card, let's just flip it over. This is the Rainbow Salamence. I wanted to see what a rainbow looked in this thing. We got a 10 and that looks awesome. <laughs> Very nice. The crazy sparkly rainbow with the black borders all around it. And we got a very nice 10 as well. Very happy with these grades. The slabs feel great. They might mess up some of your stands or your holders uh, because they are a little thicker, high, taller, and I uh, can't remember, did we test if they're wider? They are a little more wide than the PSA slab as well. Um, so if you have, you know, stuff to hold nothing but PSA slabs, then you're in trouble because this is bigger overall. But 
I am very happy with the outcome of this little test, and now it is up to you, Omash Nation. You have to let me know if we should add SGC to the Omash Middleman service. My overall opinion is that everything went very smooth. We submitted it super easy, very nice to use online. We submitted the cards. It took less than a month to get them back for their cheap services. If we went with their express or higher valued services, then uh, we would have obviously got them back a lot sooner. But $30 for less than a month turnaround time, that seems very fair and good. Um, and it's definitely one of the cheapest options that you have, especially at that turnaround time. And we got to see the slabs. I think they look sick. Add a very cool look to your collections. Um, obviously, SGC's marketing when we're talking value is not all there compared to PSA and Beckett and stuff. Um, that's, but that's just because the market isn't huge for Pokemon and DBS and stuff like that. So a lot of collectors aren't collecting SGC slabs and so naturally the value isn't gonna be there. But for your personal stuff, I think it looks amazing. I'm probably gonna submit a bunch more cards to them. I have some Weiss Schwartz stuff I wanna send to them. I have more Digimon, more Dragon Ball stuff because really I think they look sick. And I just wanna protect my cards, the ones I'm keeping forever. And so yeah guys, let me know in the comments, should we add SGC? Final vote in this video. Let's see what we come up with and maybe we can do an update video here soon saying we're going to be adding some companies to the Omash Middleman service because I want to give the most options possible to you guys to help you grade your collections because that's what it's all about giving back to you guys who support me. So thank you so much for the support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little test. We have another test right around the corner uh, starting up here soon, so stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button to join the Omash Nation. I'd love your support, and so you don't miss any future videos because they're all gonna be sweet. <laughs> You're all awesome, thanks again, and I will catch you guys next time.